can't thank them enough. I owe them my life. Simon Jones, BBC News. So Boris Johnson has paid tribute to the doctors and nurses at St Thomas's Hospital in London, where he is still being treated. Let's talk to our political correspondent, Jessica Parker. She joins us uh, this morning from our London newsroom. Jessica, morning to you. It's could be a while, I think, before Boris Johnson is back at work. Yeah, I understand that he is going to spend the coming weeks uh, resting and recovering. Of course, uh, having been diagnosed with COVID-19, he did then get pretty ill. He was admitted to intensive care for three nights, given standard oxygen treatment. He wasn't, however, uh, put on a ventilator. But as you were mentioning, we understand he's been telling friends he owes his life to the doctors and nurses at St Thomas's Hospital. Questions have naturally been raised about when the Prime Minister might be back at work. I think Downing Street reluctant to be drawn on a precise timeline as to when he might leave St Thomas's Hospital, when he might be back uh, behind a desk. However, I think it's unlikely it's going to be in the next fortnight or so. Doctors, colleagues telling the Prime Minister that he has to take his time. So for now, Dominic Raab, the Foreign Secretary, will continue to deputise. Of course, he's also the first Secretary of State. He'll be in charge as the government looks at whether to extend the lockdown measures this coming week. Of course, all the mood music we've had so far is that they will. And Jessica, the new Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, is asking for a recall of Parliament. 